We are incredibly excited to welcome Dominic Proust, Preuss, sorry. <laughs> he just told me how to pronounce his name and I messed it up already. He is the general manager of the RDS Commercial Database. Hey, thanks for joining us, Dominic. Great. I'm very happy to be here. Even well, after he messed up your last name? I, I've been going through it my whole life, so okay. I'm totally, totally associated. <laughs> we, we had a whole conversation about its heritage and everything. There and, you uh, go, there you I'm go. I'm looking there and going, I just messed it up. <laughs> <laughs> Dominic Preuss. Um, so we just announced our big partnership, AWS and Oracle, but for anybody who might have missed us, give us the highlights. Yeah, I mean, we're really excited to be here at CloudWatch. We're incredibly excited to get Matt Garman up on stage with Larry Ellison, which is kind of a historic moment for everyone. Yeah. So we yesterday announced the, the new partnership uh, where uh, AWS will be working with OCI. We'll be landing OCI infrastructure inside of AWS data centers. Uh, what's exciting about this, it allows customers to run their exadata workloads on OCI infrastructure, but still run their applications and take advantage of the rest of AWS. So very excited, the, the option that it gives to our customers. What challenges does our partnership help our customers in overcoming? Yeah, so you know, up until now, we've got customers that have chosen AWS as their primary cloud, and they have this large estate and investment in Exadata, which they're getting a lot of value out of, they really love. It was difficult to get those workloads from on-premise into AWS, so today, we've really made it easy to migrate those workloads and, associate, and combine all the data that was on-premise with the data they already have in AWS. For our joint customers that have chosen AWS as the primary cloud, it allows them to unify all that data so that they can use it for generative AI and other workloads downstream. Okay, so the reason customers want this kind of offering is for exactly that. Can you dive in deeper there? Why, why do customers want this? We heard Matt and Larry talk about it, right? Their customers were asking for it. Yep. Why are they asking for it? Yeah, I mean, Again, because it wasn't easy to use Exadata with AWS, customers had to make a choice. Do I stay on premise or do I go all in on the cloud? So now what they can do is they can go all in on AWS by bringing those workloads as easily as possible into AWS so that they can basically make decisions about a cloud in general um, and really choose a single cloud as their primary cloud. Obviously this has been big news over the last 24 hours. What makes this partnership special? Yeah, I think the, one of the key differentiators, I think, is AWS itself, right? We, we pride ourselves in, in all the value we provide to customers, and so now, because you've chosen AWS as a primary cloud, we've made it very easy to bring those things to, to AWS. We also spent a lot of time with the Oracle team, uh, making sure that that data is easily accessible from the rest of AWS. So things like backups in S3, which we talked about, and, and zero ETL integration for your downstream analytics, that really makes sure that the data can flow back and forth and that you can make sure you can get the full value from all of your data. Um, what are we hear? I mean, uh, this just came out yesterday, yeah. but how, what are you hearing already about this? We're, we're hearing constantly about it. I want to hear what you, you guys are hearing. What takeaways are, are, are we coming away from? Yeah, I, I would just say at a high level, tremendous interest. Um, you know, we've got our internal Slack channels and email lists and their emails are flying. <laughs> you know, we've got hundreds of people asking about it and wanting us to come and talk to their customers. Um, I think the thing that's really interesting about the agreement is that you know, AWS's largest customers are basically Oracle's largest customers, and so we have tremendous overlap in terms of our joint customers. And so this is a really natural, easy solution for them, and so there's lots and lots of interest. You know, customers, again, before had to kind of make a decision, like do I keep Exadata on-premise or move to AWS? Now they can do both and they don't have to make a choice. So you, you've kind of touched on this, but you know, examples of customers who are going to benefit from this. I mean, Matt mentioned some specifically on yeah. stage, uh, Best Buy, JP Morgan Chase, Vodafone, Exxon Mobil, and of course, we had State Street yep. up there as well. Um, what, what makes those customers the perfect customer for this? Yeah, so those customers are, you know, talking about multi-cloud, they're multi-cloud customers already. Um, they are, have a deep investment in Exadata as well as a deep investment in AWS. Uh, and so those customers are the perfect overlap of needing great technology from Oracle in terms of Exadata and Oracle Rack and all of th those things, as well as all the services that AWS provides, whether it be SageMaker or any of our other analytics services or AWS Bedrock, which is our ML offering. Um, it really allows you to take the best of both of those and those customers are, again, the perfect overlap. Um, okay, so one final question for you here. They talk, we talked about this in keynote, but in case anybody tuning in right now missed it, when will um, this partnership be, be available to our customers? Yeah, 
So we're really excited to be here. The, the partnership is very much hot off the presses, so we're excited to be here and talking about it. Uh, the plan is to have a private preview available by the end of the year. Uh, so that'll be in one of our AWS regions uh, with one availability zone. Uh, we'll be adding a second availability zone to that region uh, by the end of the year, and then next year we'll be adding uh, another US region and hopefully expanding into Europe as well. So by middle of next year, we're expecting to be uh, GA for the service, uh, but we will have a, a private preview by the end of this year. That's great, and it was, it was great to hear State Street talk about how they they need this everywhere, yep, get yep. it to where, closer to where our customers are, so the excitement is already building. Yeah, I think that, you know, again, talking to customers, we've had customers in Japan, customers in India, customers in Europe, customers in the US, customers from Australia have already reached out asking about this, and so we know that there's global interest in having it, and a lot of these companies are global multinationals. And so they do need us to be able to provide the service in as many places as possible. So we're really excited to work with customers, understand their requirements, then hopefully execute against those. And I love how Matt was like, and, and if we're missing any regions, please let us know. <laughs> He's up on stage going, hey, wherever you guys need it, we want to be there. Yeah, well, I mean, and the idea of moving these workloads, that, that the benefits of performance, reducing latency, um, spending more time innovating rather than integrating, that was a, a nice line um, as well. So um, congratulations, yeah. I guess, to all of us. Yes, on this. it's and a very exciting day. It's only day one, right? The announcement is really just the first step. We know that we're kind of starting on a long journey and we've got a lot of work to do with our joint Oracle and AWS customers, but we're excited where it's going to go. Yeah, Looking it's going to be a, a fast four months. Yeah. Thank you, Dominic, Absolutely. so much very for, happy uh, to be here. for joining us. And now we are going to take a quick break, but don't go anywhere because right after that, we'll be on with Steve Miranda to talk about your AI advantage with Fusion applications.